Hey there, Kevin here. I see you've been using an Airweb plugin for your opt-in forms, or trying to use one anyway. Uh, just thought I'd come on here and uh, show you a quick way. What I use, I don't even use an Airweb plugin anymore. I used to do, but um, I found a much simpler way, and it's uh, more versatile. You can do more things with it. Um, so here we go. We're on my golf blog here. I'm going to put a uh, an opt-in form between the categories in the recent post here. So first thing I need to do is to get the code for the opt-in form. Fiddling about here. I will install my form. I'm going to use the JavaScript for this. Copy that. Now we'll go to the dashboard. OK, now we're in the dashboard of the uh, golf blog. We need to look under uh, where are we? Under appearance, click on widgets. I'm already there, I'm ahead of myself, but I'll do it anyway. And in this theme I've got two sidebars here. But under sidebar two, between the categories and the recent posts. Now what I use is I just use a text box. So simple, just gra grab a text box over here place it between the categories that's the hardest part actually <laughs> place it between the categories there, just under and the title you can put what you want in here obviously relevant to, to you copy that here Harry Varden the complete golfer now the code the JavaScript code put that into the box below and it is basically as simple as that. We save that. Now if we go back to the site, hopefully it will be there. Let's refresh the page. Go away light box. And there we have it. The opt-in form, simply put in, no messing about with analytics or anything else can have your analytics for your own site and the opt-in forms in there. I hope that's helped you. Um, obviously depending on your sidebar width you're going to have to uh, change the width of your opt-in form but uh, you can fiddle about with that and it's quite simple just to put all these things in. Hope that helps. Speak to you soon. Bye.